everyone! How's it going? My name is Samad. Welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to share with you the five basic tips on how to film like a pro only with your phone. I am a designer by profession and I use my phone a lot for my work in terms of social media, marketing, and video content creation. I utilize my phone quite often and I have learned to follow these five main tips so that my videos appear more professional even though it's only shot with a phone. Let's get started. I'll start sharing with you the five basic tips on how to film like a pro with your phone. Subscribe! Number one, lighting is crucial. If you want to get started on YouTube but you only have your phone, one main thing that you should definitely focus on is the lighting. Lighting can make your video seem very amateurish or very professional. Also, if you don't have good lighting, how are we supposed to see your beautiful faces in your YouTube videos, right? In terms of lighting, you can utilize natural lighting or you can utilize artificial lighting. So right now, I'm using mostly artificial lighting. I've got my makeshift light source here with like my little really cheap tripod from Tiger and it's holding my artificial lighting. I've got some ceiling lights and I've also got a corner warm light that can help make the white balance of this video a lot warmer and less cold, you know? If you don't want to invest in artificial lighting yet, don't worry, use natural lighting. So this is an example of natural lighting. I've got a light source coming from the outside. There are three windows on the left side of me and they are providing the light source that I require to record this footage for you. As you can see, you don't have to invest in expensive lighting equipment. You can just utilize what comes naturally to the world, sunlight. As long as you have the light source in front of you, lighting up your beautiful face, it will make your video a lot better, a lot more crisp and a lot more professional. Just remember these two things when it comes to lighting. Number one, avoid backlighting. And what that means is when you have a light source at the back and nothing in the front. So when you record yourself with lighting at the back, then you will appear as a shadow, as something blurry, and your footage will most likely have a lot of graininess or what is commonly known as noise. When you're trying to edit your video and trying to brighten up the footage, you will end up with something that looks really hazy and just really, really grainy. The second thing to remember is do not overexpose your footage. You cannot see anything. You can't see any features of my face and everything just looks way too bright. And in this case, when you're trying to edit it, you cannot darken the footage anymore. So when it comes to lighting, definitely avoid backlighting and avoid overexposing. Exposure. Number two, audio is key. If you want to solely depend on the microphone that's from your phone, that's completely fine as well. But here are a few things that you should remember so that your voice comes across very clear and very crisp. Try to record your videos in a room that is somewhat soundproof. And what I mean by that is maybe make sure you have floors that are carpeted, that you have cushions and sofas or your bed around so that sound is absorbed instead of reflected. Another thing that's useful to remember is to record in a room that has a ceiling that's quite low because this can help you avoid any echoing. So this is what I sound like without an external mic. I'm pretty sure it's slightly echoey but it's still pretty clear. Because I'm recording in a living room which has curtains, carpeted flooring, and sofas, my voice does not come across as too echoey and the phone is able to record every single thing quite clearly. Smartphones have very sensitive microphones which is a good and a bad thing. If you depend on the phone to record your audio, that's great. However, it can also sometimes record a lot of background noise and echoes. I personally prefer investing in an affordable microphone. The microphone that I'm wearing today is actually from Amazon. I don't think there's a brand on it and it was only 13 pounds. It is a clip-on external microphone that connects straight to my phone. It really depends on your situation, what you prefer, but definitely work up to getting an external mic eventually. But right now, if you have to depend on your phone, maybe those little tips how to record audio with your phone effectively will make your video a lot better. Number three, keeping your phone steady. 
And before getting my GoPro, I always use my phone to record travel content. One thing that I really needed to rely on was the anti-shake. However, anti-shake can only do so much if you are not stable and steady yourself. Keeping your phone steady is really important. What I usually do is I record with both hands, not just with one hand because one hand can be really fiddly. Or what I also did was I invested in a tripod, which is basically a selfie stick. I did not buy an expensive one. I bought one off of Amazon. Again, there's no brand to it. It's holding my phone up really well. It's stable and it's very steady. Here are a few examples of footages that I recorded while walking around with my phone. And you can see how steady it is when I use both hands and also when I use the tripod. I really encourage you to invest in a selfie stick or a phone tripod. It really does make filming a lot easier for you rather than putting your phone in random places and trying to keep it steady or using just one hand. I think investing in an affordable tripod is a good idea. Number four, framing yourself and your environment. Now, if you're a YouTuber that does sit down videos like I'm doing right now, you have to find a way to compose your video so that it's more aesthetically pleasing. So I have placed myself in the center and I've tried to keep this video as symmetrical as possible. You can also place yourself to the side so that maybe you can have some overlays in this corner of your video. You should also try to find the right angle so that your camera is pointed in the most flattering angle for yourself. So for me, a flattering angle would be if the camera was pointed directly at eye level with me, which is what you see right now. Now the fifth one is, remember you have a smartphone and smartphones have smart features. I would recommend you to utilize all of these features. So my phone has time-lapse, slow-mo function, wide angle, night shots. Here is an example of footage that I recorded using the time-lapse feature. I really like to utilize my wide angle lens to try and capture as much of the environment that I'm visiting as possible. While walking or while doing a pan shot of the view, I really like to utilize the wide angle lens because in that way you're able to see every single thing that I'm seeing. I don't need to invest in actual external lenses to capture everything around me. A lot of the times also I get people complimenting my footages because they think that I'm using a DSLR when in actuality I'm just using my phone and the features that it provides. Definitely tinker around with your phone if you have an iPhone, if you have an Android. I'm pretty sure there are features in there that you can definitely utilize for your own videos and that can make your videos really entertaining and really interesting to watch. Those are my five basic tips on how to film like a pro with only your phone. Maybe eventually with more growth and more successes, you can invest in a camera, you can invest in an external mic, you can invest in studio lights. It's completely up to you, but for now, if you want to use your phone, you'll know that you can do it because these tips will help you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy sharing information and knowledge with everyone, and I hope that you can utilize this information for your own creations and videos. Please definitely comment down below if you have any tips that I missed out that maybe I can use as well to improve my video creations. I would definitely love to know, and I would love to learn more from other content creators as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like my content, definitely subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching. My name is Samad and I will see you next time. Bye.